Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. I'm Ryan Beach, and in this video, I'm going to do my best to very quickly and succinctly, because I know that sometimes I can get a little bit long-winded and carried away about my descriptions of these things. So I'm gonna try not to do that. We're just gonna talk about these three tempo ranges that I use in my uh, practice routines and why I think they're beneficial and how you might start to incorporate them into your practice. Now this is something that I did not just make up out of thin air. I just noticed what I was doing in the gym and how we have heavy, medium, and light rep ranges and they all do a different thing and they all serve to kind of give you a complete picture uh, and sort of round out your lifting journey, so to speak. And I thought, I wonder if any of these kinds of things would transfer over to ourselves as musicians. And so I started kind of going down that road and this is what I came up with. So instead of heavy, medium, and light rep ranges, we have fast, medium, and slow tempo ranges. And just quickly, the fast tempo ranges are basically your chance to test. You're gonna give yourself maybe one or two chances whenever you decide you're gonna play in this rep range. And you're gonna say, do I know how to breathe? Do I know how to release? Do I have a clear blueprint in my head of what I want? Do I know how to execute that? And you're gonna try to make the best plan you can, and then you're gonna see if you were right. After you play those few repetitions, you're gonna have some information about what went well, where the blueprint was successful, and what didn't go well. Maybe where you haven't developed a strong enough blueprint, and this is going to help you get even more out of the other tempo ranges that we're about to talk about. In my experience, I have found that uh, it's difficult to really get better as a trumpet player when I'm playing things near or at performance tempos. And so instead of thinking I'm gonna play in this fast tempo range and I'm gonna get better, I try to have the mindset of I'm gonna play in these fast tempo ranges and it's going to give me information. I'm gonna see where things work, I'm gonna test my abilities, and then the information I get from that is gonna help me get even more out of the other tempo ranges that we're gonna talk about next. The next tempo range we're gonna talk about is the slow tempo range. And this tempo range is all about improvement. For me, we're talking quite slow, not just a little bit slow, but almost dead slow, so that there are no technical barriers to us playing the best that we possibly can. In this tempo range, I find that I'm actually capable of playing near the quality that I wanna play uh, in the end. And so spending a lot of time here ingrains those habits as this is how I wanna play. It may not be as fast as I want it to go, but I am showing up for the best version of myself and I can show up for that person and recreate it time and time again. As opposed to the fast tempo mindset that I was just talking about, the slow tempo mindset is I have this information, now I need to focus as hard as I possibly can to ensure that on every single rep, I'm doing what I want so that I can begin to ingrain exactly the player that I wanna be so that as I progress through tempo ranges and progress the tempos closer to performance tempo, I've developed sort of a baseline of success to begin with and then I can just hold that baseline of success as I progress. The last tempo range that we're gonna talk about is the medium tempo range. And this tempo range is sort of a bridge between the other two tempo ranges. I've experienced in the past when I would be practicing something slowly, I would maybe do it four or five times at half tempo and then say, cool, I got it. Now I'm just gonna try to play it at tempo. And while it was better than it may have been before, it still wasn't great or perfect. And I think it's because I skipped this middle step where I would be able to say, maybe instead of playing at performance tempo, maybe I'm gonna you know, play it 10 clicks under or 15 clicks under and really try to hold those habits and the way I was playing and the quality that I was playing at the slow tempos somewhere where I can actually still hold them. It's just faster than it was before. This mindset for me is a bit of a mix. We are sort of testing our abilities, but we should be able to maintain a lot of the quality that we pulled out from the slow tempo range in this medium tempo range. Now in the routines that I use for myself and the routines that I use for my clients, because they're exactly the same thing, this is very organized and structured how we work this into our program. But if you are interested in getting it sort of into your program in a way that you could experiment with it, what I would suggest is just deciding before you play something, what tempo range you might play it in. Am I gonna play this slow? Am I gonna play this medium? And am I gonna play this fast? Once you've decided what tempo range you're gonna play for a particular exercise, then you just perform a number of repetitions at that tempo range, trying to increase or trying to uh, improve your ability each time. And then you just move on to another exercise and pick a different tempo range. Like we don't always have to stay in the slow or always stay in the fast. This helps us give us an ability to sort of cycle through and get the benefits of all of them. 
After you've played an exercise on one day at a slow tempo range, the next time you come back to that exercise, try to pick a medium or a fast. So that way you're cycling through these as the week goes on. For me, not only does this approach give you the benefits of what the tempo ranges offer, but it actually just helps give some freshness to exercises that you're playing all the time. I think consistency is a huge part of being able to progress because the more consistent we are in our exercise uh, and routine selections, we're going to be able to track our progress from day to day. So this kind of helps make it feel like you're not necessarily just playing the same thing the same way every single day, but it gives a little bit of variety. To help out a little bit more, I'm gonna put on the screen a fast, medium, and slow tempo range sort of percentage chart. Basically what this is gonna mean is if you decided I was going to play a fast tempo today, you would take whatever the goal tempo is for this thing and you would multiply it by some percentage within that range. For example, if you're gonna play a basic articulation exercise and you think to yourself, I would like to play this eventually at 120 beats per minute, but today I'm gonna to play it in a slow tempo range. You would say 120 times maybe 0.6 because 60% is gonna be in that slow tempo range and then you would play it a few times at that prescribed tempo. I have found the working in of these tempo ranges to be quite effective in not only my own practice, but in my client's practice. For the reasons I was saying, it gives you the benefit of sort of a well-rounded approach and a little bit of freshness. And so I hope this video helps you be able to try to incorporate it into your practice and find some of the benefit for you as well. All right, everybody, that's gonna be all for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like down below and don't forget to subscribe so you can see other content that gets produced on this channel. If you have any questions about this tempo range fluctuation and how it might apply in specific situations, or if you're interested in just learning my method so that you can do it the way that I do it, I'll leave a link down below for a free 30 minute call where we can chat about these kinds of things and see how I can help you. Thanks so much for watching the video. Always remember, stay strong, be kind to yourself, never stop growing, and we'll see you in the next video.